I'm Cookie and welcome back to my channel and today we're having a tea party and we can't have a party without a hat so today I'm gonna show you how I made my Mad Hatter's hat so if you're interested stay tuned now you guys I should have used Eva phone for this okay this was just some old cheap phone my head laying around so I used it um, I definitely redo this head again at some point because it's not perfect at all but I used a pattern I will leave a link in, this, in the description of the pattern that I used and this is just showing you all the pieces of the pattern that I um, that I cut out and that I used to make the hat and we're gonna start with this piece here okay so I use this cheap fabric you can use whatever fabric you want it really won't matter because we'll end up spray painting it and I cut slits to help me easily fold this over why I didn't cut slits on this part I don't know cuz I made my head super bulky so don't be like me cut slits in it there you have it a toilet seat Wow <laughs> but don't worry do not fret okay it's gonna get better just let's just just trust me okay so we're gonna do the inside the same way you want to attach all your slits down hot glue them down and then voila you got you a prettier toilet seat Wow <laughs> all right and so moving on to the what do you call like the the base like the the long part of the of the hat y'all we just putting the pieces together now to form our top hat okay and voila here you go this is what it looks like beautiful okay so I, I um, attach the front and the back hot glue the front and the back part to the brim first and then we're gonna do the sides oh my god that is so beautiful okay so beautiful anyway so next I realized that I worked backwards I should have did this I don't know a whole nother way y'all but I realized that wasn't gonna work out so I just cut slits of my fabric and began to hot glue slits all the way across yes it took me longer but hey can't stop we got to keep going y'all because we've already messed up but we got to we just got to keep going so after that y'all I made the top part this this is gonna close the head up okay you're gonna um, hot glue all your slits and then we're going to fit it in here on the top to close it up. I wanted a little added texture so I used some Mod Podge and Mod Podge the top of it and then I'm going to put the lace on top and then um, put Mod Podge all on that. This is going to help give us some texture and make it a little harder and sturdier. See? See it made it hard. Okay, so now it's gonna get a paint job because the hatter has like this funky looking, um, I don't know, rumple steel skin color going on. <laughs> a little bit like rumple but look at that that's kind of cute y'all I'm liking that but anyway um, I would say use fabric but I didn't have fabric so this is a uh, ribbon and uh, like a salmon uh, coral color ribbon and so the thing is I wanted it to kind of mimic fabric so I don't want to hot glue it down perfectly I'm gonna do a lot of wrapping and kind of bulk you know make it kind of bulky and you know just decide where you what looks good to you so like right there I decided okay I, I want some I wanted to glue right there and have a little hump so I'm gonna put some glue and pop that down just like that okay and so the next one I decide to wrap it around and then stick it underneath another piece of the ribbon that's gonna help it kind of give that little bunchiness and um, kind of have that I don't know that fold like fabric does I can't explain it y'all you kind of just have to follow your heart man follow your instinct wherever you feel like you know looks good to you just just do it just do it okay and so see it's coming together it's starting to look look like fabric a little bit there 
and I just keep wrapping around and I do that again if I decide I want to put it inside you know flip it over there on that side I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna carry it around and do the same thing until it looks like how you want it to look okay And voila, ain't that cute? Okay, so then I took this peacock feather. I got this from Joann's, y'all. And I got this piece of fabric from Joann's. I got these beautiful um, Mad Hatter pins from Amazon. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so then I'm gonna hot glue my peacock feathers inside the hat and do the same for the other one, okay? Next, I'm gonna cut my piece of fabric, then I'm gonna fold it, hot glue it together, and then just hot glue it on my head. And for my pins, I'm going to secure them with hot glue underneath or inside the little ribbon tie. And then I'm going to secure it again at the top just uh, to reinforce it at the top there. And I'll do that to all four of them. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, <laughs> that is so beautiful. Okay, so now for his little note on the side of his hat. Um, I mean, you can type this if you want to. I just drew it out because I wanted like a little rough sketch. Uh, my marker stopped working, so I had to get another one. But anywho, um, after I do that, I'm just going to cut it out into a funky little shape. You can do whatever shape you like. And then you're going to see me burn the edges because his looks a little worn and burnt. Now, if you are under the age of... 40, you definitely need to consult with your parents. Children, please do not use fire without consulting with your parents first, okay? And so it's time for the tea party and we have our hats. We are looking good. So I hope you like the tutorial, you guys. Please be sure to go follow me on Instagram. It's at Cookie Model. I posted photos in this cosplay as well as a lot of other cosplay photos that you may be missing. And also be sure to thumbs up this video if you liked it. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Next to that subscribe button, you want to hit that little bell and you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. And that's it. Bye. Bye.